makes it very interesting and exciting. I'm just glad to be here. I'd like to see more focus on the uh, skilled nursing centers. Uh, what Steve had to say was very interesting to me. I'm the executive director executive at Lanier Direct. Village. One of the, th the things that's happened today to me is that to see all of my fellow colleagues in the, in the profession exhibit such caring and the vision of meeting the needs of people that we care about. And I thought that would, that really came through today, and I think that's where we need to be. We play a lot by our, sometimes by our head, when we should be playing with our heart and uh -huh. our our uh, commitment to our people that, that we really care about. And I, I really thank you all for that from every speaker that we've had today. I've only been at LBE for about eight months now, but uh, listening to everything that's going on today is very reassuring to me to find out that we are pointed in the right direction and moving in the right direction and, and things are happening the way they at least all of you professionals seem to think the way they ought to be going, and I'm just very reassured by the whole process, so. Good, okay, right back here. I've only been in my position as wellness director at the Oaks in Orangeburg, South Carolina for about a year, and I like the networking opportunities. Um, I'm, I'm passing my business card out all over the place to uh, anybody that I can find in wellness. Um, I think we have a lot to learn from each other and uh, a lot to share. But, but those who come to the table with the least amount of, of experience can be the most valuable people in the room because you know the questions to ask sometimes. What are you thinking right now as you hear all of this? How little we really know about the retirement community business, but we're, we're attending and listening, and uh, we have uh, benefited greatly from this conference, and we very much appreciated the assistance we've had professionally from THW. So I have to say Mark Tilden here and his staff, Bill Whitty and all of them have been great to work with. But uh, it's, uh, it is a, it's, a, it's a paradigm shift for us because going from healthcare for 43 years at a medical center and with uh, uh, to the retirement community, it's a new world. And uh, even though we've been in skilled, skilled nursing for a long time, uh, the CCRC is a new concept. Uh, Margaret. Um, I will add to this. Um, I happen to be the wellness advocate in our group, and I've sort of been uh, fighting an uphill battle with these old hospital people who are accustomed to treating illness and billing for you, it. You don't need to point it. <laughs> and I, I, <laughs> but uh, I, I've had to sort of fight an uphill battle on um, on um, encouraging the emphasis on wellness, and when we first. Uh, acquired the land and first started talking about doing this, my, my huge thrust was please let's plan it so that we can emphasize wellness and an active vital lifestyle in this community. And uh, I still have to sort of fight it every day. Um, but I'm, so I'm very glad for us to be here and to hear all of the other folks' interest in wellness and emphasizing that because um, I feel like I have a little bit more um, ammunition, ammunition to take back with me as I fight the battle. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. Very early in my career, I was on the, uh, the hospital side and made to shift over to uh, long-term care, continuing care a long time ago. And uh, boy, if I had to repeat my career, we've talked about this, both of us, uh, there wouldn't be anything we would change. Uh, it's very rewarding. Uh, doing what we're doing, and, and I know I speak for, uh, for my colleagues uh, as well. Takeaways, a couple that I've had, if you, if you look at uh, Chris Crowley and, and Terry Upton and, and uh, Steve Shields, one of the things they had in common was lifestyle, and particularly with the villages, it struck me that, you know, really they're, they're selling a neighborhood, which you can get that anywhere, but what they sell is the lifestyle, and we've got to concentrate and sell the lifestyle because the real estate uh, is, is a commodity. Um, the other thing that struck me is that um, there's so many different um, constituencies in the crowd. We have residents from Lanier Village, uh, we have experts in various fields, we have developers uh, that are in the startup phase, uh, we have CCRCs that are legacy properties, 
and it's interesting to me to see the dynamic between all of the different constituencies and how we communicate. So it's, it's a networking. Very good. Okay, I've got one question right in the middle here. Here it comes. Yes, sir. I think w what I picked up, somebody talking about earlier, the, the idea of a la carte type services rather than package services. We've been doing quite a bit of research with focus groups, and that's what people are saying more and more. They want choices. They don't want to be told what they have to take. They want to be able to pay for it as they go. Okay. And obviously, that's a huge financial challenge to make the numbers work with critical mass, but, but that's what I'm, I'm hearing as much as anything. Um, I'm going to lead 